I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. Okay, so here I am at the Goonies house. This is where I'm starting the video. Now, if you read that sign behind me, it says, no trespassing, keep out, do not drive or walk up to view or take photos of Goonies house, private drive, police will be called, no turnaround, dead end. Well, that's fine. You can see the tip of it from here. I'm gonna show you the Goonies house because I have an idea. You see, I bought a drone not too long ago. So I'm gonna fly that drone over right into the house inside. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna go up, 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 and up. See the tip of the house right there, that's it. No, I'm not gonna do that. I do have a drone with me, and I considered, I considered it for this. I brought it for other locations that I'm shooting on this trip, and I considered that, and then I thought, because I knew that they, they didn't allow people to walk up the driveway anymore, and I thought, that's intrusive to fly a drone over someone's private home. So I said, no, no. But I've got a good viewpoint. I know where I'm going to go to get you a good uh, shot of the house. You have arrived. Thank you. I have, haven't I? Now, the reason why, it used to be open to the public to walk up and take a look at the house. But the, apparently, now I've heard various stories. Apparently the lady who bought it recently didn't know that it was a Goon, the Goonies house. And that's why she was like sick of people walking up her driveway. I heard that story from somebody in town. Another story I heard is that the people who live here, they were getting people trying to take pieces of the house. They woke up to people inside their house. All hours of the night, people knocking on the door, but especially people taking stuff from the house, waking up to have people inside your house. That's so weird. Underneath the porch and stuff. And it's right on the property, trampling their flowers. That's awful. So no. I kind of get it why, they, why they've closed it off, if that's the reason why. Like people that abuse that sort of thing. I would just be up there, take a picture, walk away. So I can't get that close, but I'm gonna show you a good viewpoint, then I'm gonna burn through a bunch of uh, gurneys. Gertie, that's ET. Let's go, and I'm gonna show you the house from a uh, far away viewpoint, but something good enough. Good enough <laughs> for you, it's good enough for me, it's good enough. Remember that Cindy Lauper song? And that's when they tie uh, Brandon up. Brand, in the movie, they tie him up so they can escape, so they can go look for one of Willie's treasure. I always liked that scene because was, I'm pretty sure they put it in afterwards, but it works out so well. Like, she must have written the song after the movie, and she's on the TV, but they never show the TV in the same shot as the actors. So they must have shot, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm dropping? So they, uh, it's weird the way they're running around the house and it's kind of perfectly timed to the music, but, Maybe they had this on planned ahead. Uh, you know what? I will give Richard Donner or Steven Spielberg a call. Or Feldman. Feldman? Call me. We can't actually go inside because it's a private residence, but uh, we at least get to see it from the outside, which is neat. First, you gotta do the truffle shuffle. These are the goondocks. Ain't that cool? These are the goondocks. I'm gonna show you the beach later. Don't worry. In case you're sitting there on the edge of your seat wondering for a moment, you can guess I am. Look here! That's the school from Kindergarten Cop. Right down the street from the Goonies house. Kindergarten Cop is not a Tuma. Right here. One of my favorite parts of the Goonies is when they're, uh, Mikey is explaining the uh, story of What I Willie, and then they just, and then Data says, forever and ever? I so that's weird to say it. But it says in a funny eye, well, sort of, it's, you know, it was the 80s. Forever and ever. And then Mikey looks at the camera and goes, trapped. 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 There it is. There's the Goonies house right there. Okay? See? And beside it is Data's house. Where he's zip across. Whoops, I'm not filming. Yeah, there we go.
Goonies house right there. So cool. That's it. There's the Goonies house. See? I knew I'd find a vantage point that would suit my needs. Do it! Check it out. It's the bowling alley from the Goonies right here. This is where Chunk is watching out the window when the Fratelli family drives by after they escape from jail. I'm gonna show you the jail right here. He would have been looking out this window right over here. I believe, yeah. Let's make it right and we'll see if I'm right. I think I'm right. But yeah, somewhere around here. Let's go inside. So this is the window he was looking out of. Now they've raised the floor a little bit. But Chunk was looking right out this window. The pizza. And see the McDonald's in the background? Here's a... Okay, can everybody stop bowling for one moment? Thank you, that'd be great. He had to get the pizza exactly correct to cover the McDonald's sign. Because they could have had the McDonald's in the background, right? So see the McDonald's? It took him about seven or eight tries. And the actor who played him, I forget his name. Uh, what's his name? Jeff Cohen, he cried. Who was it, the little kid? Because he couldn't get it right. Stop it, bowling. Yeah, right there. So he had to, he cried at the at, after because he was not able to get it lined up right. Look, I'm doing it. Come on, kid. People come from all over the world because of Goonies. All these little dots represent, represent Russia, representing the Yablani V range, what, what? Saka. Where did I leave my socks, by the way? Father Chad. Look at that. Crazy. Welcome to Chunks Bowling Alley. Please sign our guest book. Mark it. I'm going to mark where I'm from. Goonies never say die. Isn't that really cool? Right here. Let me see what I'm doing. Where am I filming? Oh, yeah, right there. There you go. So cute that they have a bowling alley in this town. If you had, like, I remember bowling alleys in Toronto, in Toronto when I was little. And now being in Toronto and LA a lot, if, I'd be hard pressed. If you asked me where a bowling alley, is in Toronto or LA, I wouldn't have a clue. I'd be like, I don't know. I know where they used to be. But right here in Astoria, Oregon, you can bowl your life away. You could say I'm bowled over. <laughs> I don't like myself any more than you do right now. And now the final crowd approach to this kid. Baby. Shut up. I believe this is right here, the jail. That's the Flavel House Museum. And right on those steps, that's where Mikey's dad waved to the boys as they drove down the hill. Hi, dad. Hi, dad. Hi, boys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The county jail, I believe, is right here. Look at that. And look at that instantly recognizable from the Goonies. So the Fratellis, when they escaped, Mama Fratelli was waiting out here with the other brother, and the one guy, the one brother escaped, sorry. They lit the fire right here. What a great cast. The Fratellis, that's one of the reasons why the Goonies was so successful is because they had great actors. Joey Pants, what's uh, Robert Davey playing the other dude, um, playing, uh, the other brother, and Ann Ramsey is the mother. Ellen! If I throw mom from the train. Ellen! Yeah. Oh, what's this? A little Goonies thing here. So, anyways, that. Oh my god, it's a Goonies car. It says the Goonies on it. Let's see what this says. The historic classic county jail features in the opening jailbreak scene. The police pursuit that follows winds past many familiar sites and neighborhoods in the story of Canada Beach. It was a working jail from 1914 to 1976. The Flavel House is a museum where Mike. Yeah, and we know that.
Here's the inside of the jail right here. There you go. bullet holes in the back of the Jeep. A fan made this, that's really cool. All right, now we're going somewhere that I've always wanted to see from the movie. I've shown you the house, the bowling alley, the courthouse, the Flagelbalab Museum, and I'm gonna show you something really cool, but there's a location that I, I really want to see and hopefully I'm able to find it. I've gone, done research extensively online about where it is, but I have a feeling I'm still going to be quite confused. Welcome to my world. I want to tell you something else about the Goonies, like a behind the scenes tip, but now I can't remember. Hmm, maybe it'll come to me. Oh, no, what? You know, when the, the car chase, so Carrie Green's character's doing the, um, you know, the cheerleading practice, chunks at the bowling alley, showing the Goonies, like, you know, establishing the characters. What is Martha Plimpton's character doing on the dock where she comes up out of the water and like, does she pull a, like a lobster or a crab out of her, is, she, is it in her mouth? What is she doing with her head dunked in water? She pulls it, she doesn't even look at the cars or the screechy behind her. What's going on there? Can someone explain that to me? I've never understood why she has her head buried in the, in the thing. In the water. And does she come up with a crab or lobster in her mouth or in her hand? I can't remember. One of the two. Why are you doing that? Martha Plimpton, answer me. She was uh, River, Fe uh, River Phoenix's girlfriend. Did you know that? Now you know. For a long time. So I'm walking to Haystack Rock, which is a big rock in the Goonies, a giant thing. And I gotta tell you, I just saw it. I was right beside it on the side of the highway. I almost drove off the side of the highway. That was crazy, because it's huge, and it's right there. I couldn't, huge. I couldn't believe, couldn't believe it. That was incredible. Let's see, how do I get there? Am I going the wrong way? It's right up here. That was nuts. Wow, it is incredible to see in person. Now I'm in like a weird subdivision by the beach. I want to live by the beach. Where is, how do I get, how do I get, how do I get, how do I get, how do I get there? Oh God. Going the wrong way. I think it's everybody else seems to be going that way. Okay, well, uh, you gotta see this. How crazy huge this is from the Goonies. Okay, wait till you see this. I'm glad you're here with me. This is so cool. Even if you're not a fan of the Goonies and you just watch my channel, you're gonna be amazed when you see this. I was about to jump because I'm so excited. Ow! Okay, watch this. Oh my god, it's crazy. You gotta see it in, I mean, it's hard to tell in like this, but that's Haystack Rock that is famous from the Goonies. Carol and Mike in the studio. Yeah, this is Scott on tape. And I'm here at Haystack Rock and it looks like there's definitely a tsunami on the way. We urge all citizens to get out of town as fast as possible. But I'm gonna stay here and report what's happening with the tsunami because that's what weird weathermen do. So the car chase was going along here and went north that way. 
all the way up here on the beach at the beginning of the movie. And you see those rocks all in the background up there. It goes far up. That's Haystack Rock. That's where they used to line up. And now we're going to go see something else really cool. Ooh, I got a timeshare in Oregon by the Haystack Rock. Look at me. Actually, I would love that. See? Wall. I, I see it. Well, it's doing its job. Not well. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Yeah, so there's Haystack Rock from the Goodies. You hear me a little better now. Oh God, if I do voiceovers. Look at that lady, do not make eye contact with me. She's sitting in the restaurant watching me. I will get a table right next to you and stare at you. Oh, little big shoes. This older couple behind me, it's for the kid, they're eating snacks. And she just pulled out um, a little plastic uh, baggie. No, not what you think is in it. And he goes, oh, what's that? And she said, it's a praline. Or it's pralines. He goes, you know, I've never seen one. And took it and ate it. I don't know if I've ever seen a praline. In my head, I was kind of making fun of him. Well, I don't know if I've ever seen a praline. I've, I've seen pralines and cream ice cream. Oh, I've never seen one. That's going to be me. Not too long from now. An almond? Well, I've had almond flavored things, but I've never actually seen an almond. Cashew! Cashew! I <laughs> get it? Cashew. Uh, anybody want a peanut? Well, now it's quieted down. Now I'm taking it to another place from the Goonies. Uh, a couple of locations. I'm gonna wrap it up there. I think I got most of the ones that I wanted to see coming up. Like coming up is what I want to see the most actually. But uh, yeah, otherwise, yeah, I think I got everything. The, the, the beach from the end, when they're saved, that's in California. That's further down the coast. I'm not sure if I'm going through that town. I, I have it mapped out on physical maps and also on my lap top. But I don't remember if I marked that down to go through that town to film that beach. I might, we'll see. I don't walk. Okay, more Goonies coming up. Let's go, let's go. Come on, you're with me. Keep up, keep up people, keep up. If I don't make it, Gerilyn, you're taking over my channel. It's not easy. You can do it, girl. So this is the road they're riding their bikes along in the Goonies. Going to the Fratelli's restaurant right now. Pretty cool, huh? It's exactly the same. Now one of my favorite scenes is when Brandon's uh, riding Data's sister's bike <laughs> and I, Troy grabs his hand and gives him a ride along with his car, it's convertible. Then let's go and he falls, drives his bike off the cliff. I'm not sure exactly where that was. It's going to be difficult to find that. Hello. So. Could be anywhere here because all of this is on the opposite on the left hand side is it's a steep drop the only thing we serve is tongue <laughs> so up here was incredibly incredibly windy like even with a windsock on my windsock and i was dressed completely in a windsock it was too windy but i'm pointing out just where in the background you'd see the rocks that would line up to show the fratelli's restaurant and where the boys are hopping along and skipping towards the restaurant. And at some point I'm going to turn the camera to the right to show you exactly where it would have been, right over there. That's where the Fratelli's restaurant was located. So they would have been behind me in the shot, looking towards this area. And those mounds that you see behind Mikey in the background are behind me. And that's towards Haystack Rock, down that way where I just was earlier. 
Now, the Fratelli's restaurant was a set. It was built specifically for the movie, and it's torn down now. One of the park guards was telling me that one of these picnic benches was in the movie. Now, I've watched that scene extensively. I do not see any old picnic benches. I see some old farm machinery near the restaurant, but not any picnic benches. I think he may be thinking about a different movie with park benches near a restaurant where a giant guy named Sloth lives. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, so I'm back in my car now. Sorry, you can't hear a thing I'm saying out there. So obviously I'm gonna have to do some voiceovers for most of this. I don't know, I'll check. Even with a windsock, it's, it doesn't make a difference. My favorite part of the Goonies though, is when Brandon steals Data's sister's bike and then she stomps her feet. I want my bike, I want my bike. I always love that part for some reason. So the Fratelli's restaurant behind me, Haystack Rock in front of me, the boys overlook right over there where I showed you kind of roughly, and Brandon goes off the bike on one of those roads. Yeah, that's it for the Goonies. Did as best as I could. Gave you the experience of being here. It's cold, it's windy, the ocean looks threatening yet inviting, so I may take a swim. I'm like that. Yeah. I don't have to breathe that heavily now. Like, I'm not walking anymore. Okay. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there's a couple of Goonies videos by Hervé, Hervé Atia, who does exact locations and gets it exact, which is awesome. I love that. This video is giving you more of the feel, but I think I, you know, the area. And I showed you specific parts, but I just didn't line up the shots maybe the way some people like. I apologize. I love you all. Peace out. Goonies never say die. Ruth, baby. Later. Bye. In fifth grade, I knocked my sister Rainy down the stairs and I blamed it on the dog. <laughs> <laughs>